Ernie Banks came up very big for the squad yesterday and kept the BR run alive. So I am currently 5-1 and one now, so a winning streak needs to take place. As I was saying yesterday, I need to get 7 more wins now, and then hopefully once I get to 12 wins, if I'm lucky enough to get there, I could possibly get something good because every single person I've seen so far who was able to get to 12 wins was able to get an amazing reward so far. So yeah, hopefully I can get there. But it wasn't looking good as soon as I saw the lineups. You ask why? He only has one diamond in his starting lineup, so most of us know what that means. He's got somebody ready and waiting in the penned diamond, that is. So I was saying that too once I saw this guy's lineup. As long as it's not the 95 Billy Wagner, I should be good. I, I was saying it, it could be a Chapman, it could be Andrew Miller, it could be Batances. I am perfectly fine with that. As long as it's not uh, the 95 Billy Wagner, I will accept that 100%. So Robinson Cano has been an amazing leadoff hitter for the squad so far, and what a surprise. Comes up with another base hit right there on a 2-0 count. I figured he was going to give me something off speed, and he does. So he's going to Addison Reed out of the pen right now. So if you would think he was going to put a lefty in, it would be now because Griffey is up. I mean, maybe it was because I had Ernie Banks and uh, who else was after him? Oh, Goldschmidt. I had Ernie Banks and Goldschmidt coming up right after Griffey, so maybe he just figured, you know, maybe I can take care of Griffey. And then deal with Ernie Banks and Goldschmidt with this, uh, with Addison Reed pretty much. But Griffey is able to come up with another base hit too. So do you want to risk that? Possibly giving up another base hit to deal with the righty. So I got two guys on now still. Or there's one down now after Ernie Banks I think flew out. So Goldschmidt, I think he's been doing alright. I don't really remember that much because he hasn't been going off or anything. He's not like the, the Sanchez out there. Who's been going crazy pretty much. But Goldschmidt, he's been swinging a good bat, I'm pretty sure, so far. So this guy was kind of struggling a little bit to find the strike zone early in this game. So I was taking a lot of pitches. Wanted to wait to see if this guy was going to try and sneak in a fastball or something on a 3-0 count. Gives me the slider, so I wasn't expecting that. So definitely taking that 3-1 count. Now still sitting on the fastball, man, because you know he's going to try and sneak something in. He can't afford to walk the bases loaded. No chance he can do that. So on the 3-1 pitch, he's going to the slider down and away. So bases juiced now. This is, man, 95 Billy Wagner is inserted. And here we go. The, the closing pitcher who I struggle with the most is in lefty-on-lefty -lefty matchup. Wade Boggs gets brushed up and in right there to back him off the plate. So he's going back inside right there. Figured he would try to go to the slider down and away or something after that. But he's able to sneak in a uh, fastball right there to make the count 1-1 one one now. So this is when he goes to the slider down and away. Just able to foul that one off. So, man, if I wasn't going to capitalize with the bases loaded, this would be the biggest buzzkill ever. You need to cash in runs early if you were able to get guys on base. So Wade Boggs with a 1-2 count is sending one to the left side. And that is cashing in. Lefty on lefty damage has been done. Billy Wagner got taken care of right there so still the bases are loaded for uh you know who the sanchez gary sanchez has been swinging the hottest bat i've seen in br so far for myself so i'm man i should i should have been sitting on that man i can't take that fastball inside uh, for the first pitch of this at bat and the next pitch Trying to blow that foul into the stands right there. But of course, he comes up with the grab. So Gary Sanchez isn't able to do something clutch, surprisingly, in his first at-bat of this game. But he's going to be getting at least one more at-bat, I figured. So maybe he can make up for it later in this game. So Bichette is in now. Still with the bases loaded. How didn't I send that one over the batter's eye? That should have landed in somebody's backyard right there. And then, I don't... Dude... That was an ugly at-bat. He goes to the slide step, kind of threw me off right there. Fastball literally right down the middle. And I'm swinging and missing at it. Catch the ball, Banks! What is that? Banks doesn't catch the... What is that shit, man? What? Right to him! Pretty much right to him. Doesn't even move. So Ernie Banks doesn't want to move his damn feet. He was, he was stuck in the mud right there, apparently. So D. Gordon gets on base with that, with that speed. You got to get that speed off the bases especially early so there's still nobody down now and this is going to be so obvious that he was going to take off with uh d gordon at some point in time i mean this guy obviously wasn't a crazy person taking off first pitch probably wanted to see if i was going to the slide step or not and then he, and then he would make up his mind 
But Kenny Lofton, I think this is the rookie Kenny Lofton or something. I think it's only an 80 overall or something. So he's Ernie Banks decides to move his damn ass right there, catches that ball behind shortstop. So now D. Gordon is going to be taken off in this at bat, I figured, 100%. So still, I go to the pen again, put a righty in because he had a couple more righties coming in. So, yeah, man, like, I figured for sure that D. Gordon was going to take off at some point in time. And if I went to the slide step, you know, like, I, I find that so far in this game, when you go to the slide step, people with really good speed are making it in there easily. He's going on this pitch. You can't steal on the Sanchez. Don't steal on Gary Sanchez. Do not. The hose from Gary Sanchez right there delivers, and the next pitch going down swinging. So Gary Sanchez delivers with that gun, throws D. Gordon. Now, that was a huge out right there because you know if he was able to get somebody in scoring position, he'd probably cash in the game, would probably give this guy some base hits or something. So, yeah, big out right there from Gary Sanchez. So this guy wasn't able to score any runs in the bottom of the first inning after getting that speed on base to lead it off. Able to avoid any further damage done. Ryan Braun to lead off this inning just flies out to right field. And then Ichiro is in as a pitch hitter. He's a oh, pinch hitter. I like I said pitch hitter. Pinch hitter. And he's the only lefty I have on the bench at the moment. So that's kind of unfortunate because I would like to use somebody else. I was actually thinking about putting another righty in for just when I need to put somebody in for my pitcher. Because, yeah, just the live series Ichiro isn't, you know, too impressive or anything. I'd rather use him on the bases for, you know, a pinch running situation than for a pinch hit situation. I'd rather use guys with power and stuff for a pinch hit situation. So now we're at the top of the lineup again. And Robinson Cano is up, already one for one on the day, so that is no surprise. I got a 2-1 count now, so I'm sitting on something you would think, right? No, that is getting by Robbie right there, up and in. So next pitch, he's going to the slide step again, trying to fool me, but I was waiting on the off speed this time. And that's just a line drive right to the right fielder. So now we are going to the bottom of the second. Miguel Cabrera is leading it off. If I can just take care of Miggy, then we might be good because this guy really didn't have any other, you know, threats in his lineup. So, you know, that's what that's all I need to do is just take care of Miguel Cabrera, although he doesn't have that speed. So if he was able to get on bases, I wouldn't have to worry about him taking off for second base or anything. So this guy was chasing a lot of stuff down low, which was good. I like facing these guys who chase a lot of stuff down low, man. Some of these guys are just taking things. It's like some people you play literally don't swing at anything that's one centimeter out of the strike zone. But this guy was definitely swinging a lot of stuff. I have no idea how he fouled that off that was in the dirt. I mean, Sanchez probably would have blocked that too, the way he's been playing so far. Next pitch, going down swinging on the curve. So that's, that's out number one in this inning. Big out, always big to get the first out of the inning in BR especially. So yeah, man, the, the, bullpen was, the bullpen was definitely active at this point in time. And yeah, if you haven't, been, if you haven't seen, if you're just new to the channel and haven't seen this BR run yet, I do not have any lefties in the pen. So some people may be wondering, why aren't you going to the lefties out of the bullpen, man? Because I don't have any lefties in the pen, unfortunately. That's one thing that's going to, you know, cause the squad to lose some games. If I don't have any lefties, but all the right-handers have been doing good so far. I mean, there really hasn't been an issue with, uh, you know, the righties facing lefties so far. Right there, luckily, I'm able to get uh, the shift. The shift was working, so if it wasn't for the shift. That would have been a base hit up the gut, but luckily, I'm able to get the out right there. So now, we're going to the third inning. All I need to do is just shut this guy down for one more inning, but I'm looking for insurance 100%. So Griffey is leading off, already got the base hit earlier in this game. Right there, getting kind of jammed, getting very jammed, actually. So that's just a weak little blooper to third base, makes that grab easily. So now is when the meat of the order is coming to the plate. Ernie Banks wasn't able to do anything in his first at-bat. So, you know, Ernie Banks had a couple of big games. The only reason why this BR run is still still on the on the move is because Ernie Banks had two huge games yesterday. And that's, yeah, that, that legit is the reason why the BR run is still is still moving pretty much. So just grounding out to shortstop right there. So the squad is going to have to bail Ernie Banks out because he put the squad on his shoulders in the past two games. But Ernie Banks hasn't done anything so far in this game. And then Goldschmidt is, I don't know how he finds the outfield grass right there. So a little blooper finds right field somehow. So now Wade Boggs is up. But unfortunately, I'm just flying out uh, behind second base, and he's making that grab. So now we're going to the very scary bottom of the third inning. I say it in every single video that the bottom of the third is very scary. It is very scary. I don't just say that to try and, you know, hear myself speak or something. The bottom of the third in BR, especially when you get a one-run lead, is the most terrifying thing on planet Earth. 
So I'm able to get the first out. That is definitely huge. So all that, yeah, man. What the first out was all I was worried about. If I wasn't able to get the first out of this inning, if he was able to get a base hit or something to lead off this inning, it wouldn't be looking good. So I think he had a couple more right-handers coming to the plate. I think his pitcher was on deck actually, so I figured he was going to put in a lefty unless he didn't have any lefties off the bench. But still, all I need to do was just take care of the second guy and then two down. I don't know, man. I guess I shouldn't say that because two out rallies have been happening more than I've ever seen in this game so far. Let the screw job begin. Don't tell me this bullshit is going to happen in this game now. So Wade Boggs isn't able to come up with that. I mean, bad bounce, but what is the game doing to me? This game is going to give somebody an aneurysm one day. I swear to God just from screwing people over so he gets a base hit next guy coming to the plate so there's still only one down all this guy needs to do is just send one to the outfield and that could possibly put uh, the get the, the tie and run home so D Gordon just grounds out Goldschmidt makes the play thank God thank God Goldschmidt made that play right there because that definitely would have got the tie and run home right there so Kenny Lofton is up this guy you know, is in first pitch sinker down and in Right back to him. Thank God the game made me corral that. Can you imagine if the game made me whiff on that or something? That would have been the definition of a screw job. But either way, I'm walking away with the win in this BR game. So now I'm currently 6-1. and one. I mean, I definitely got my work cut out for me. But, you know, six-game win streaks, they've been done before.